<laughs> I was only gone two days. Well, that was two mornings I had to wake up without you, and two nights I wasn't with you. I missed you. How did it go? Oh, um, well, you know, I was helping Ramsey get the council of six, and we nailed him and got him. Oh, did Bert arrest all of them? Yeah. All of them. Mm. You look exhausted. Oh, I didn't sleep at all. Well, why not? Well, you know, bad guys keep strange hours. The biggest problem was rounding them all up. Hi. Right. I'm on my way to the hospital to see Jade. Why don't you get some rest, okay? Okay. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> Would you like for me to do that again? Oh, no, check this out. I think this is a royalty check. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. This is great. This is from my last record, Miss Cummings. <laughs> Boy, just in time, too, huh? Miss Cummings, huh? Yeah. Did I say something wrong? It. No, you meet me later at Clark's Jewelry Store and we can discuss it, okay? Discuss what? Just meet me there later. All right. I want to get some, some sleep first. Wait a minute. Why are we meeting at the jewelry store? I think it's the perfect place to make our engagement official, don't you? A what? Felicia. Engagement? I hope three's not a crowd. Frisco, Frisco, I thought you were asleep. Um, I tried. You were too exhausted. I was a little nervous, thinking I might miss my appointment at the jewelry store. You're very cute. Me? We'll talk about it later. How you doing? Much better. Yeah? I'm glad you're here, Frisco. Maybe you can tell me the truth. About what? My brother. Well, what about her? I get it. What? What do you mean? My grandfather and brother are in jail, right? And you don't want to upset me. It's all right. I can handle it. And I can face Kim. Hi. I hate to break this up, but Jade and I have to go downstairs for some tests. Oh. What kind of Excuse tests? Me. I don't know. Tony ordered them. I'll give you a hand. This is awful. Every day she doesn't know the truth. The worse it's going to be. I know, and the tougher it's going to be on Yank. Wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Mm -hmm. Um, which reminds me. Reminds you of what? That we seem to have some sort of appointment at a jewelry store. Would you care to discuss this? No discussion, except at the jewelry store. I see. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go look at engagement rings. Is this the plan? Unless, of course, you have a meeting with Robert. I wish I did. Bye. Honey, honey, listen. Mm -hmm. Now, I got a, the royalty check today, okay? Now, I really needed that. And that mm -hmm. is the only thing standing between me and the welfare department. Oh, okay? I still have my job. Well, I can't live off you. Why not? Well, because I can. I'm not like that. I can't do that. I'm an old-fashioned guy. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Why are you glad to hear that? Because old-fashioned guys prefer old-fashioned girls, don't they? <sighs> Usually, yeah. <laughs> and old-fashioned girls love old-fashioned engagements, which means engagement rings, followed by wedding rings. What can I do for you? Um... <clears throat> oh, well, we're looking for some jewelry, I guess. Some, uh, maybe a bracelet, pin, earring, something like that. Or maybe a ring. Which is it? A ring. But if he'd like to look at some earrings for himself, he's perfectly welcome. <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. <laughs> he's my fiancé. Oh, congratulations. Mm. I hope you'll both be very happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we will be if I could pick out an engagement ring. Sit down. <sighs> oh, look at these. So which one do you like better, the square cut or the emerald cut? Oh, don't forget the pear-shaped diamonds. Oh, like this one? Hmm. I don't think I like this style as well. What do you think? I think it looks very expensive. 
Well, now, you can't judge a diamond by a size only. Isn't that right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about... about diamonds, really. I just know about finances. Briscoe, we already discussed this. We haven't really discussed it. I don't have a job, honey. Remember? And I don't know where I'm going to be bringing home paychecks from. My paycheck is yours. Mm -hmm. Two people can't live off one paycheck. We all know that. We have to eat, right? And we both want to live. Oh, yes. Happily ever after. Oh, look at this one. Oh, Frisco. I love this one. Excuse us. Thank you. Come here. It's beautiful. I know it's beautiful. Listen to me, okay? I love you. And I love being with you. And I love living with you. And I love waking up with you. But why do we need a ring? Don't you believe that? Without having a ring? You're really serious about this, aren't you? I've never been more serious about anything in my life. You are my life, and this ring is a sign that I mean that, Frisco. This ring is a commitment we both make. Honey, a ring is just a symbol. That's all it is. No, Frisco, it's more than that. Look, it's right here, and I can touch it. I can feel it. I lost you once, and the only thing that kept me going was that I loved you, and that I had faith that we would be married someday. I want to get married as soon as we can, but I don't mean tomorrow or next week, but soon. Frisco, I can't stand the thought of losing you again. I'm afraid. Baby, there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. I can't help it. I look at Jane and what might happen to them. Look what happened to Robert and Anna. Well, Robert... Come in. It's your apartment, too. You still mad at me? You know, you used to, uh, used to yell and stuff. When you're mad at me, I sort of miss that. All right. Well, if this is my apartment, I guess that's my couch there, too, huh? We have to talk. No, I think you said it all at the jewelry store. Well, I didn't say quite all of it. I've never been proposed to before. Really? Yeah. It was just all so sudden. It was so quick. I mean, it, it was a shock. I didn't know how to react. I see. You know how it is when you've always been the best man, never the groom? Yes. Like always being a bridesmaid and never being a bride. Right. Well, I just... I just couldn't believe my good luck. Shall I propose to you again and then you could believe it? You'd be stuck with me for a long time. I'm warning you. Thank you for the warning. If you think the past has been crazy, the future could be even crazier. I know. And I can't support you. I don't have a job. I have no security. I can't offer any of those things. I know. But I love you. That's all the security I need. Don't you know that? Let's go. 
I'm sorry. I should have never insisted on you getting an engagement ring. I guess I just wanted... I just wanted some kind of proof that we would get married. I didn't mean to put you through that. I really didn't. I guess engagement rings are sort of important to girls, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah. I never have, uh, you know, looked for an engagement ring before. They're actually pretty, pretty beautiful. You liked that last one, didn't you? Yes, it was very beautiful. Yeah. But you're right, we do have to be practical about the royalty check. Well, the check's gone. Oh, what happened to it? tradition here. What do you mean by that? What are you going to do? Will you marry me? You think I'm going to be the only one in shock? I don't think so. Let's see who can I tell. I got Tony to tell, and Tanya, and don't forget about Anna and Robert. <laughs> so beautiful. You're beautiful. That's because I'm so in love with you. Are you still the lady of my heart? I hope I always will be. Lady of my heart, tell me who you are. Happy every day from this moment on. So I know there have been bad times, but I promise it'll never happen again. I can't remember any bad times. Today has been so beautiful for me. I just wish everyone could feel just the way we feel right now. Thank you. 